gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up day three and I will tell you we just passed our first test. Kenya had a performance this afternoon at her music academy that she goes to for voice lessons and once we finished um, Luke's like what's for dinner and it was so tempting on the drive home just to say hey let's pick up dinner so I don't have to cook when we get home but we have made it back we did not stop. I'm getting ready to make one of my family's recipes from when I was a kid, and that is beef stroganoff. So we're gonna have that for dinner tonight, and then I'm also going to go over and make sure that I've got everything set up for next week, make sure I don't need to put in any orders for groceries, and just go over my meal plan. The recipe I'm gonna be using tonight is actually from one of my older cookbooks. My mom gave this to me when I was in college, and this is just a cookbook that had a lot of our family recipes and the ranchers that were in our area. They all put a cookbook together. So I am making my mom's easy beef stroganoff, and this was a dinner that my sister and I would always look forward to, and any time I heard that it was on the menu, I got really excited. For tonight though, I am going to make a few changes to it to see if we can get it dairy free so Lincoln can enjoy one of the meals I used to love as a kid. For this recipe tonight, I am actually tripling it. I wanna have a little bit of leftovers to last next week um, to give Luke for lunch, but also I wanna make enough so I can freeze an entire batch to save in my freezer for one of those nights that I am needing a quick meal that I can just pull out of the freezer and put together. So when I'm going over the ingredients tonight, it might look like a lot more than what I'm actually saying, but it's just because I'm tripling the recipe. So for this recipe, this is what you're gonna need. One pound beef sirloin cubed, one medium onion sliced. We'll need 10 and a half ounces cream of mush mushroom soup that you can buy in the can but I am using this soup tonight because we are doing this uh, dairy free for Lincoln and I was finally able to find dairy free cream of mushroom soup if you want to keep it regular and you're not cooking for any food sensitivities you can just use the canned cream of mushroom soup one cup sour cream and on this recipe I'm using dairy free one cup sliced mushrooms, one clove of garlic minced, two tablespoons ketchup, two teaspoons Worcestershire sauce, one package of egg noodles. These noodles that we're using, once again, um, great for Lincoln, it's gluten free. And even though it says there's egg in it, Lincoln's egg allergy is just to cooked eggs like you're eating them for breakfast. Anything that the eggs are baked in, he's okay with. One tablespoon butter, uh, and we are using the dairy-free butter. The first thing I'm going to do is melt my butter in the Dutch oven and then saute my beef, and also in a separate pot, boil some water to get my noodles started. <music> are tender I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat down to medium and we're gonna add all of the other ingredients except for the noodles update for those of you who saw my episode when I did the recipe for Luke's favorite dish when he was growing up which is chicken roll-ups. 
I couldn't get it dairy free because I couldn't find the cream of mushroom soup that was um, dairy free and vegan for Lincoln. And thank you all for your suggestions and the recipes. I'm happy to say that I did find one at Whole Foods. And I think a couple of you mentioned that in the comments of that episode. And it's actually Imagine. So I was able to find dairy free vegan cream of mushroom soup at Whole Foods. That's what I'm using in tonight's recipe. I'm excited to uh, kind of taste and see how that is. And um, also see how this recipe comes out because I've never made it uh, dairy free before. So I'm really excited to see how this comes out tonight. Once we've added all the other ingredients and we've mixed it together really well, you just want to heat this through. You don't want to bring it to a simmer or a or a boil. And once it's heated through, you guys are ready to eat. So you wanna make sure and drain the water off of your noodles. Add a little bit of oil or butter to them. We use dairy-free butter just to keep them from sticking together. And what we'll do when we serve it up is we put a base of the noodles and then we pour the stroganoff over the top or we just dish up the stroganoff over the top of the noodles and you're ready to eat. All right, I just taste tested this really quick before I call everybody else down to dinner and I am excited to say that this tastes exactly like my mom made it. So I'm really happy that this dairy-free substitution has worked really well but there's one more person that the taste test has to pass, and that is Luke. He has had the original version, so I'm interested to hear what he has to say on this as well. This is the, the guy that the main has the main say in all of this. Me? And I said, because you've tried it before, the original. He's put noodles in the bowl as a base, and then we just go ahead and put the stroganoff over the top. And everybody's waiting to hear what your thoughts are on this because can I don't I put know. Peas on it too? If you want to, or you can do that on the side. I'll put it on it. I love it. <laughs> All right, first bite. Wow. It tastes just like the dairy the dairy version. Okay, so it tastes like my mom's Perfect. original. Mm-hmm. Awesome. It's real good. Okay. Love it. So we have another meal for Lincoln that is yummy yummy. We have made it to day four, and it's a little bit hectic here this morning just because I'm still trying to get things ready for us to go this week. And so I am getting ready to put our dinner for tonight in the crock pot. I find that on Sundays things get a little hectic um, just because we're trying to prepare for Monday and we're doing things, we're going to church, and we have a couple other errands that we run on Sundays. So a crock pot dinner for Sunday is working out better. Um, we're gonna try it today actually, so I don't know if it's working out yet or not. And then I'm also gonna have a crock pot meal for tomorrow. So the things on my list for this morning that I've done is I wanna get some heartier breakfasts put together for the kids to be able to warm up quickly in the mornings just so we can get through the rest of our morning routine before we start school. So I'm working on that and I'll show you that in one moment. I am, uh, like I said, getting our dinner ready to go in the crock pot for tonight and then I'm going to pre-prep everything that I need to put in the crock pot tomorrow morning before we leave for our community day at school. So I'm gonna be up bright and early tomorrow morning making sure that we have everything ready to go. So here, let me show you guys what's been going on in the kitchen. I am multitasking this morning. I have browned some breakfast sausage with, with hatch green chilies in it. Um, here I've got uh, my breakfast hash that I make for the kids a lot. If you're interested in that recipe, look down in the description below. I'll put the link down there for you. Um, I have a few leftover potatoes. I'm going to figure out what to do with them in a moment. What I am getting ready to do guys is mix all this together with some shredded dairy-free cheese and we're going to make breakfast burritos. That is my plan and then I'm going to wrap them and the kids can heat them up throughout the week. I'm ready to go ahead and put the breakfast burritos together, wrap them, and get them ready to either be frozen or just keep the ones in the fridge that we're gonna use this week.
excited to see how the kids enjoy these this week. I just wanted to mention a few things about the breakfast burritos. The reason why I didn't put any egg in them is because Lincoln, my son, it has sensitivity to eggs when they are cooked just as a breakfast item. So he can't eat scrambled eggs, um, eggs that are fried, anything like that. But if the egg is baked into something like a cake or waffles, he's okay with it. Also, the reason why we use dairy-free cheese is because, once again, my son has multiple food sensitivities. He is allergic to wheat, corn, egg, soy, and dairy. And so I'm really excited to have him try these. We use the Siete um, burrito wraps that are corn and wheat free. I'm looking forward to telling you guys how the, these uh, helped us in our breakfast routine throughout the rest of this week. But here's the final product. All that's left is I'm gonna wrap them in parchment paper. I think I'm gonna keep a few in the fridge and I might even freeze a few. I have the breakfast burritos all put together and wrapped. We're gonna keep them in the fridge and then it'll be easy for the kids just to reheat them throughout the week. And guys, I'm so excited. I've got our Sunday night crock pot dinner all ready to go. Get that turned on in the crock pot. It's a lemon chicken pancetta with Brussels sprouts in there. We are officially on day seven of our 31 day challenge. And they say that after you do something, what is it, Luke, seven times, it becomes a habit? 21. What? <laughs> but seven times three. Well, wasn't I wrong? <laughs> For some reason, I thought after you do something seven times, it becomes know, a habit. Is, uh, so Luke is now telling me it's 21, so we have a ways to go. And I can agree with that because I was gonna say, I really don't feel like it's become a habit yet. Tonight, it's been really simple and basic. I'm actually having everybody clean out the refrigerator and eat the leftovers from what I have fixed previously and all the good food that I put together last night. So everybody's kind of pulling whatever they want out of the fridge. We're using the leftover roast beef and the broth from that to make um, French dip sandwiches, that's what we call them, and putting a little bit of mozzarella on there. Luke's done that. Lincoln is enjoying one of the breakfast burritos I have pre-made for breakfast. He decided to have breakfast for dinner. We call it Brenner. What are you having for dinner tonight? Well, leftovers, but they're pretty fantastic. I took the roast beef and put it on the French bread roll. Baguette. Yeah. Baguette, and then added a little bit of the mozzarella cheese. And, and you know, in Chicago we used to do this wonderful meal called um, a beef sandwich, Italian beef sandwich. And I know this isn't Italian beef, but it, it kind of has the same thing, because then you pour the, the sauce so it soaks into the bread, the au jus sauce and then the bread gets all soaked and then I think it's gonna taste really good. I'm looking forward to it. I will say that I'm still feeling like I'm playing catch up. I still don't feel quite ahead in this meal planning. So I'm hoping soon that will come. However, it's felt good to not be going out to restaurants as often and I do feel like we are eating a lot healthier. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of how we've been doing with our challenge throughout the week. We'll have another update next Thursday. We will see you then. Thanks for watching.